people calling themselves blacks, Africans, all kinds of different names. And the names don't even make sense when you break the names down. Okay? Because the Bible, the, the Bible explains to you the original nationality of the nations. Okay, even our people, our people, they like to call themselves blacks. Okay, Nigerians, African American, West Indian, all of these different bywords, man. You feel me? So at the end of the day, man, everybody's under that trance. And even the even the people of India, they call themselves Indian, but their biblical name is Ewok. Yep. Okay, yep. so that's that covering yeah, cracks, that lot. Uh, you're a Christian, right? Are you a Christian? Yeah, yeah. Tell him what he did. He's going to tell him. He just told me something, but I think it's better if we tell you on the camera. So All right, man. What are you going to say? Yeah, I say I'm a pastor. 18 years. Mm. I'm in France. I'm a Frenchman. I work here 15 years. Okay. I teach everywhere in the world. Mm. Jesus Christ. Is Jesus Christ is the devil. Okay, 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 all right. You see this man, he got his head on right. He's got his head on right. You see, but you, but you know what, my man? Even if you teach the truth, they'll still believe that this is the man that walked 2,000 years ago. They'll still believe that this is Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, please. Yeah, one as well, please. Yeah, so they'll believe. I'm all right, I'm all right. They'll look at you like you're crazy. But when you tell them, look, the Lord was a so-called black man, it's like, oh, shit, I can't believe that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, this is the devil. And you know what? Take, and, if you, and if you want, brother, step one, brother. You yeah, get a you're blessing. Yeah, 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 man. Look, you get a blessing. You know? <laughs> see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to receive a blessing. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah, you're all right. He's all right, He's all right man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, go on, bro. Go on. Uh, this is in John 8. One more scripture. Now. And 31, and it says, Then said the our shy to those Jews which believed on him. He don't get wrong. It's a... See it and I get angry. <laughs> it's at St. John 8 and 31 and he says, Then said, then said Yahweh Shai to the Jews who yep. believed on him, yep. If he continue in my word, uh -huh. then are ye my disciples indeed. Right, so we continue in his word, then where his disciples, man? So yep. pick that picture up, brother. Yahweh oh, Shai, eh? Yeah. And, and, see, and you see, this is the thing about the world. The world has been all deceived into, into not believing that a so-called black man could never be the Christ. So if I say, look, this is Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, they're going to look at this like, who is this? That's the psychological, um, that's the blindness right there. Keep going, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry to cut you up. Yeah, yeah, go on. As I went over here, yeah. you know who put me in the water? You see the boy over there, sir? Yeah. Show it to me, don't spend no money. I'll buy the waters for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what I'm saying to you, because I know the spirit of the Lord. Show it to me, don't spend your money, I'll I uh, only wait two of them, we'll get another one. I'm like, no, 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 put your money away, I'll buy one of them for you. Oh, okay. okay. Crazy. That's all I can say. But you know it as well, the scripture says that when you do it the right, when you do it the righteousness, yeah, 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 yeah. your enemies, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So Absolutely. that's the thing you have So all the we curse them out and we showing them the raw deal they still they still you know doing certain things for us man showing you this all spiritual but like i was saying before if you show them this image right here that master the people and tell them look this is uh jesus christ or jesus Cristo, if you speak spanish they can't picture that they're gonna be like who the hell is this guy huh jesus christ remember that ethiopian guy who told him and he was like i can't still can he can't see it because he's his mind, his his brain, he's been psychologically duped into believing that this is Jesus Christ. Yeah, and that old black from Africa. Yeah. 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 That's what did it. Yeah. So um. Yeah. Did it worse? Yeah. He's African, isn't it? So he thinks that old black people are from Africa. Yeah. Yeah. You can't think that we're from Israel. You can't. You can't believe that. Yeah. We're from the Middle East. But he's when you think of the Middle East, don't think of Arabs. That's what, you're, that's what you're thinking. You're thinking Arabs. Yeah. So you're thinking, how could black people be from Israel? Yeah. Like, they don't make no sense. Yeah, they don't make sense. And that's but why I think, that's why they're so subservient when they come here. Mm. Yeah. They still have that surprise. Yeah. 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 You know that like, we would deal with them like, like anyone, we don't give a fuck. But they have that subservient attitude towards them. Yeah. And yeah. they greet them, so this, that. Yeah. yeah. yeah I see yeah. it all the time. Yeah. And just like you said, I was telling you earlier about my friend at work. When I told him about um, 
the most high yep. and that this is not Christ. Yep. You will know that's not my gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's not his God in the Bible no more. Yeah, because they put him under that spell. That's not even but a spell. This is nothing but a spell that our people will put under. Man. Is, this is stuff. That's not real. They think that this is a man that actually walked the earth. And he paved the way for grace, man. Come on, dog. Like, really? Seriously? I got a precept. Go on, bro. Revelation 20. Like oh, he was waiting all day. Yeah, let me read this. I just to finish up verse 32, and it says, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Right, but the elect are going to know the truth and be set free from all of this nonsense, man. Right, yeah. Is this ain't nothing but nonsense? Because they don't even know the truth. Yeah. So, I mean, and that's what I was saying earlier before. You have a lot of Jakes that believe in this nonsense to be the Christ. I've got two answers. But that's really because in the future they're going to be regular Israelites. There's one, uh, one thing that happened from the teacher Peckham. Mm. That uh, a nigger woman mm. went by, walking like this. She saw the picture of Yahweh Shire. <laughs> and she went, God forbid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah man. Man. <laughs> But brother, you can't get mad, brother. You can't get mad about that. Absolutely. You can't get mad, brother, that's because right, right, right. our people, they're on the uh, side. Remember that day? Yes. Yes. Remember that day, man. She stood there with God forbid. That's how destroyed our people are, man. Yeah, because they, yeah. they've, been, they've been conquered. When you've been conquered as a nation, you're going to think that your own people can die. Yeah. Under any circumstances, you know, coming to the power. Yeah. You know, but the point of the matter is, is that this right here signifies the power, the power source. So when Esau, because Esau really conquered the nation, right? So when he said, look, I'm the God now, that that, that was the that was the final nail in the coffin to and, seal and, the deal. And, and that's how you know the devil, because what he did is he left his image around the world to yeah. stay in the minds of the people. Yeah. Not, not just, just stay there, just, just for scenery. Yeah. But it was a, it was a psychological thing. Doctor yes. yes. It's like, it's like, um, it's like, like, it's like posters, man. Posters on the wall. Yeah. It's not just there to look fancy. It's, it's there to send a subliminal message. message. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, yeah. so when you go to Nigeria or Lagos, you see that big statue, as big as that fucking lamp post there. Yeah. White man and all these so-called Negro Israelites, basically. Mm. Dancing and catching the Holy Ghost, mm. and then dancing. I, I was standing there, listening to music, and I couldn't dance. To it. I, couldn't, I, I refused to dance. To it. I couldn't do it. It was wickedness. And you know, too, when you go deep, I don't cut the brother, but when you go far more, a little bit more deeper, the reason why people are so hip to this image because they worship this image before. And you know where I'm going. You know, because during a, during Egypt, we had certain Israelites in ancient, and you know, not ancient Egypt, but in Egypt in the midst of our belief was ancient. Time, you had a guy by the name of um, right, Serapis. Serapis yeah. Christmas. And when you check out Serapis Christmas, he looked just like this guy over here. Yeah, I'll see. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. had the long hair. Right. So our people, the reason why they, the, the reason why they, they, they believe in this image so bad, because this ain't nothing but Serapis in the reincarnation. Yeah. Go on, bro. So this is Matthew 24, verse 24. Mm -hmm. But there shall arise. Fools Christ yeah. and fools prophets right. and shall show great signs and wonders Let me pick this up in so much that if it were possible, yeah. they shall deceive the very elect. Yeah, so read that verse again. Read that again. So we can show, put it on, on, on camera so they know what it means. Matthew 24, verse 24. Yeah. There shall arise fools Christ. Yeah. There shall arise false Christ. Go on. And fools prophets uh -huh. and shall show great signs and wonders. Yeah. It's so much that if it were possible, uh -huh. they shall deceive the very elect. Right. So this is the, this is showing and proving that the Bible is true, because the Bible states in the future that you're going to have certain anointed ones or false prophets in the end that's going to deceive the people. All right. And and this is what people that believe. This is what people believe. Even even in the year 2018, if you can believe so, that still believe that this is Jesus Christ. They still believe in this crap. Yeah. You understand? And this ain't nothing but Renaissance art. Renaissance art that they painted during the 15th century, the mid 1400s. You know, basically. Go on, bro. Let's go on. You have to understand the reason why I brought that verse is because everybody out here is going to be deceived except this, the elect. Right. Yeah. Everybody, you understand? Everybody out here is going to be deceived except for the elect. The elect is the only ones that's going to receive the truth and be set free. Okay? Yeah, I kind of see, see, look at one of these, man. You see, this is how the deception, this is how it all began, man. Yeah. 
and, that, and, that, and that's very good because I had that piece of deck. Revelations 20 uh, verse 7. And when the thousand years are expired, yep. Satan shall be loosed out of his prison right. and shall go out to deceive the nations okay. which are in the four quarters yep. of the earth. Okay, go on. Gog and Magog to gather them together to battle the right. number of whom is as the sand of the sea. Right, right. So this is this is when this is the beginning of where Satan, the devil, which is the serpent, the old serpent, came, or was loosed out of his prison yeah. and began to deceive the nations yeah. uh, by and by over yeah. a period of time. Yeah. Uh, he let loose his media to, to, to enter into the minds of the people yeah. to worship the devil. Alright, through him, man. Alright? This this is how this is the deception, man. This is it right here, this is the beginnings of it. Alright, how you can see the icons were clearly changed. You see, this is an Edomite right here. This is an Edomite. Yeah, and, and this is the icon yeah. of Yahweh Shai. Yeah. And then you can see what he's doing. He's, he's, he's white, he's lighting them up. Yeah. He's turning them into white images. Yeah. This is the lies. This is the corruption. And that's where you get this, this character from, right here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is it right here, man. You see, you see the melody, you see the, uh, the, the Israelites, the, the Afros. The dark skin, yeah, young, young, so you can play and you see the melanin. This is not a white man. This is not a white man. You can clearly see that. The original feature. You can see it clearly. These, yep. these are not white images. Right, the original feature. Right. Yeah. right. Then you can see they turn from white to black, right? Yep. So obviously, so the devil, this, this is exactly what he's talking about. Says, and shall go out to deceive the nations. Yep. How did they deceive them? By saying up these images, man. Yep. Saying up these images and people thinking that Having a, a, a so-called white skin is, so is a blessing. Me that, one of the brothers passed me that sign over there. Right. <coughs> having having a so-called white skin is a blessing, okay? And having dark skin is seen as being a curse or filthy or, or, or inferior or ignorant or, or you know what I'm saying? You're you're less you're, you're too thin, three fifths of a oh, human man. being. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you're savage. You're this. You're that. Okay, and if you're white, you're good. Yep. Okay, you're good, you're divine, you're godlike, yep. you're moral, you have morals, okay, you're civilized, and if you're black, you're uncivilized. Right. Alright? You're like a tribal or uh, savage. Yep. So therefore, they're justified in murdering us. They're justified in doing the crimes that they're doing to us because we're these savages, you see. Right, that's why they called us Indians, our West Indians, our native Indians, we're Western savage. All right, they, they, so they think that oh, we're justified in doing this. To you. We need to civilize you. You know what I'm saying? So they're the epitome of civilization and moral principles. All right, and our people believed these devils. All right, that's what I'm trying to say. This, this, this is the devil. When the scriptures speak about the devil, it's not speaking about some red demon. All right, in the underworld, yeah. with a pitchfork. All right, like and, and, and two little horns, <laughs> yeah. okay, and a little black cape with a noisy expression on his face. Yeah. We're speaking about the soul, the, the, the red man on earth, yeah. the, the real red man with the suit and tie, this devil. And when He's you so read down, I don't cut the brother, but when you read down, it says that this devil would be loose a little season, meaning the so called white man, he would rule from, he would come back into power, right. and let's just say the 13th to the, the uh, what is it, the 1500s, and then he would rule up to this point. And then while he's ruling the earth, he would he would pretty much bring forth great deception on the earth by right. by um, iconoclasm the um, the icons, which the word iconoclasm and means breaking up the image. Right. From the word clasm means break, and the word icon means image. So he went around Europe, paying over the dark art to deceive the masses of the people in the future. That's what he did. And then he brought this bullshit up here to sell the nail in a cup, man. Right. To put the nail in a cup, the final nail in a cup. Right. And, and the thing is, it said that you'll be after the thousand years are expired. Yeah. That's when you'll be loose, cause, right? Because when he was in prison for that thousand years, who was ruling? Who imprisoned him? Right. Who imprisoned him? Who bound him down for that lengthy long of time? Yeah. So we know this is not talking about a creature. It's talking about a man, yep. a nation of people that were put down for uh, ten centuries, man, around that yep. time period. By another people. That other people was us, the Israelites. That's why they say that that period was a period of what ignorance. 
dark ages. Medieval all right? times. They don't they don't really go into detail about that time period in yep. your school in your uh, uh, school, uh, ed, ed, um, buildings of uh, education. Yeah. So yeah, called. Yep, right? because Why? Because they don't want <coughs> us to know yeah. that we actually have the preeminence over them. Right. Because that would give us some form of um, insight to who we are, yeah. um, some form of self esteem, a knowledge of who we are, which they don't want. Because that's that's a source of power. We because can use see, that to our that's, come, that's not advantageous. That's not advan advantageous to them and oh, their agenda. So it wouldn't benefit them to edify us on what we did and the great achievements that we did in the past. Right. Over them. See, and, I, and I don't mean to cut the brother out, but when you go to school in Britain, let's say you went to school in England, all you're going to be taught, all black history is going to be all based on is slavery. You was a slave, and that's pretty much it. That's as far as we're going to go in your history. But what about the 1400s? What about the 1300s? What about the 1200s? What about the, the 1000s? What about all of that? See, the school systems in Britain, they're not going to touch on that history because like the brother was saying, we're going to find out who we are. Okay, we're going to find out that we root over these crackers, these devils, for a thousand years, right? And while we were whooping their ass, they were pretty much smooching. They were smooching up to us while we were whooping their ass. And they don't want us to find our history because like the brother said, that's not a part of the agenda of white supremacy. The part of white supremacy is to downplay the so-called Negro on the media, and all kind of media. Yeah. All right, and just to say he was a good old boy slave, and that's it. Okay, but we ruled, we had empires. We had an empire in Mali, in West Africa. We had an empire in, um, in Great Britain. Yep. Okay, you have the, that's why you have a thing such as called the black nobility. All right, so what they won't tell you is, is that the Europeans, these Edomites, they went over, they went over Europe, and they saw all of the dark art, and they painted over it. That's what they did, and they lied, and they said that they were the Christ, and, and, and they were the, uh, what is it, the Hamites, they were the um, the Israelites, yeah, 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 the Jews, the Egyptians. <laughs> they're, they're everybody. They're everything. Yeah, yeah, we were just swinging on trees. Right, and that's it. In Africa, and we were ignorant, and we were just eating one another. Right. <laughs> that's why, you know what I'm saying? That's why we have, that's why some black people, they're afraid to go to Africa. Yeah. They think that we're all cannibals. The Africans are these cannibals. Bad image. And that's not true. We're not, we are obviously, realistically, obviously when you go, there was some niggas uh, do that cannibalism yeah. shit. Yeah. Alright. But obviously we had great civilizations yeah. there. But see, the average Negro don't know that. The average Negro just think that, oh, you know, as far as you go back in history, we were just slaves and that was it. Yeah. And then what they'll do, they'll tie it back to Egyptology. Which the Israelites, the so-called Negro, and one of Chicago slave ships, his ass don't, his ass don't belong to the Egyptian people. Okay, we're the Israelites. The so we're a group of dark people that are known as the Israelites. That's who we are. And when you understand the Israelite history, you find out that we was ruling all over Europe. But this is, but see, the so-called Negro can't that because he's been taught in the school systems that Europe has always been white. Yeah. Okay, and, and, and the fact that we had the intelligence. And and the, the you know that the, the civilization to to stabilize a, a empire for right. a thousand years. That's on of. That that, that, that that nigga one this a nigga that he didn't even know how to rule his own self. Right. He was able to organize and order an actual empire for ten centuries. Yep. We had that level of intelligence and upright and you know yep. uh, uh, you know you, you get what I'm saying to to rule people. Yeah. And, and you know, land yeah. and, and, and to govern people, other nations of people, slaves, yeah. and, and our women, our children, our families for, ten, for centuries. Yeah. They don't want us to understand that we're that we are that we are people. You understand? But you know, though, I'm gonna even go as far as saying this because the average so called Negro, the average so called black man, don't believe in that himself. He don't believe that he was a great, that he had, that he was great in Europe, right. or he was the Israelite or the Jew. You tell the average so-called Negro, you are the Israelites. They can't believe that. They don't want to believe it. Why? Because they've been conditioned to believe that they're Jamaicans or they're West Africans or they're just Africans or they're just black, right? But when you go before, when you go, well, when you go, um, what is it before all of that? What you were, Come on, bro. If you read the Bible, right, there's no such thing as the ancient Jamaicans. Right, right. There's no such thing as the ancient West Indians. Who are we? Who were we two thousand years ago? Right, the ancient Sierra Leoneans. Yeah, 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 who yeah. were we two thousand years ago, man? Yeah. Who was the so-called Negro that went on cargo station? What was he calling himself two thousand friggin' years ago? He was calling himself Judah. 
Benjamin and Levi. That's what they were calling themselves, man. And we've come back to our ancient nationality. Because you got you got to think about it. Ghana, the word Ghana was just a, a, a label given to the war chief. The word Ghana just means war chief. But then they could they took that label and give it to the actual war chief right. and given it to the whole country. So, you, so the country itself became Ghana. And now Sierra Leone, that word just means what? I am not. Portuguese word. Right. So they yeah, wasn't referring to themselves as that in ancient times. Right. Right. Liberia, the word Liberia means liberty. Because oh, they, they, they got they got they were yeah. slaves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they won't call themselves that in ancient times. Right. The word Nigeria is, is Latin, is Latin, man. It just Nigeria. means black. That's Negro. what it means. That's right. where the word Negro or Negro comes from. And so he was called, there's also thing as the ancient Nigerians. Right. And can I say one thing? Because you're going into the words now. Now even the word Jamaica. The word Jamaica means the line of wood and water. Okay, when you actually understand the terminology of line of wood and water, or wood and water per se, all it means is a slave. And I can prove that in the scriptures because um, you had the Canaanites, they were pretty much given, I believe, they were dealing with water and wood, which signifies that they were slaves. So when you call yourself a Jamaican, you're really saying you're a slave, man. Yeah. But you got, you got, you, you got our people, they say, man, me are Jimmy Khan. You got Jimmy Khan, man. You can't tell me nothing different. Yeah. But not understanding the terminology. The term means slave. Yeah. Even our people in America. You got our people in America calling themselves African American. Yeah. They, they, they keep changing their identity. Yeah. And they keep changing their identity. They the word people. Right. Yeah, they're, they're, they're black. Yeah. Now they're African. -American. Right. But when you act, when you understand the term African American, the term Africa goes back to it. Uh, what is it? A Roman general. Right. By the name of Neo Scipios Africanus. Okay, he was um, an Edomite or so called white man, a Roman, that was fighting during the Punic Wars. So he named the land Africa after his own name. Same thing with America. America was named after an Italian navigator. His name was a medical Vespucci. So how can you be African American? That means you're saying you're white and you're white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two, two words given to you man. by your, your person. Yeah. Different as well. Don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? And when you actually dig, when you go more deep with the word America or from the um, Latin America, it means um, bitter. Yeah. And, I've, and I've told Sir uh, Jake. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Sorry. You in the spirit, bro. I know, I know. I know. It's uh, Jeremiah uh, 6 and uh, and 16, and it says, that's if Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see. Stand ye in the ways and see, bro. Yep. And ask for the old paths. Right. Where is where is the good way? Yep. And walk therein. Right. And you shall find rest for your souls. Yep. But they said, we shall not walk therein. Right. So um, it says, stand ye in the ways. So what's happening is, is brothers are standing in the ways right here. And that's where we're in the highways and edges. And see and ask for the old paths, the way that is good. The old paths is the ways of the scriptures. Our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, okay, Abraham, the Tazakar, and Yaakov, all right? And their, and their descendants, all right? That's the ways of, of old, the old paths, the ways of our, the ancient heritage, before the ancient Ghana, before ancient Mali, the Songhai Empire, all right? Before the different empires that we formulated when we migrated to West Africa and different regions of Africa and Bantu. Before all of that, we knew that we were Yashar Israelites, right? Yahawada. Yahawada or uh, Yahawada Yashar, right? We spoke one language because you're one people. Now when you look at when you look at the so-called West Africans, the, the Bantu, the Northern people there, they, they, they split themselves into different uh, uh, tribes and so forth. They've got different linguistic languages. Yeah. But if you look at them, they're the same people. They're the same people. Same flesh and blood. Now... Alright? They're the same people. So they're not different species of people. Like the, like the Ghanaians are not a completely different species of people from the Yoruba or the people of Ivory Coast or the people of Cameroon. They're not completely different species. We're the same brothers and sisters. But now they're speaking different languages and have different traditions and slightly different culture, right? But that doesn't mean they're different species of people. We're all, we're all one. We're all either Judah, Benjamin or Levi. The Howard, 
a yum yum or loya, all right? So that means once upon a time, we all had the same language. We all had, once upon a time, we're together. It makes sense. If we're all the same, we once upon a time, we were together. Well, brother, what about those those so-called Jews in, in, um, in Israel today? What about them? Brother? Yeah, those people are not the real Jews. Those people are, are converts, imposters, wannabes, man. All right? That's what they are. They're, they're, they're Edomites, or, or specifically, they're Amalekites. All right, Khazarians, Khazars, all right? That's what they are. I call them Stomalakites. And a lot of them know that they're not the real Jews. There, a lot of them know it. A lot of them know, even them, the, 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 the devils, they, they, they tried to make, they tried to make themselves, because they wouldn't make us believe. They tried to make themselves believe that they were the real Jews. But they were like, how did you become the Israelites? I said, oh, I do. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then he knew, he knew that he wasn't an Israelite. He just wanted to see what we knew. You get what I'm saying? And then we showed him, listen, you're not the real Jew because it says how during um, famine, our, our melanin got darker. Then he was like, oh, it's because we ate food. And then, <laughs> okay, all right then. You know what I'm saying? So he knows from there that, that that's not talking about his people. That's speaking about us. So that, that, that confirms the fact that they're not the rule. That's not talking about them. So brother, it's not referring to them. So brother, you know what that means, right? That means we're not blacks anymore. That means we're not niggas anymore. That means we're, uh, we're some of a different fashion. Right. Well, that means that we're the, that we're the Jews then. Right. Yep. Exactly. The Bible exactly. is saying that we're the Jews. Because I thought, you know, pursuant to the so-called rhyming, I mean, we were just blacks and niggas. But come to find out, when we actually do the detour of the so-called nigger, we find out that he's the real Jew. That's what I said. And that's why um, this Jewish man, yeah, a Jewish man, he made that documentary, got it on camera, yeah? It's called The Re-Emerging Jews of Nigeria. And before he did this, he was skeptical about their stories. He went to an Igbo village, and then all the customs they did, and they said, we know we're Jews, we migrate from Israel into Africa, but we lost our way. And the whole village, a small village, whole village practiced the laws of God, Passover, they don't do Christmas. So even though our people in West Africa are wicked as all hell, the law is going to save a remnant of them, man. Because remember, it's the elect, and then that one third of our people, say 4%, it's time to go, it's time to go. They're going to be saved. The rest of them, they're going to die. When I saw this, I got excited. <laughs> our people, they don't get excited. We're yeah. Israelite, brother, you know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's that? <laughs> uh, okay. Most of us black, you know? Because right. see the thing about it is we don't just know just we don't just know who we are, but we also know who the so-called white man is too. Right. Yeah, and he's of a nation. And he's of a nation. We know who everybody is, man. Mm -hmm. So this ain't just about us, this is about where all the other nations fall into. Now the thing with the so-called white race now, where they fall into it, you have to get going. You have to get going. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's nothing good for you. <laughs> the wicked fear, Roman. They've been doing that all day. Is it today, our brother? Yeah, I just wanna, you know, I just wanted to expound on the, on the white race, but he walked away. You know what I mean? But that's just showing you right there that even these devils with the spirit, they know they ain't got nothing coming coming their way. And that's why they come around here acting like that. They always, they always doing that. Yeah. Because they gotta live their life, brothers. That's what you gotta understand. You gotta look at everything from a higher understanding. They have to live their life because this is it. The so-called white man, this is it for him. Yes, that's a beautiful thing. So, so in the means, let them do what they got to do. Let them come up here and act like a bunch of animals. Let them do what they got to do, man. This is it. Because this is it. <laughs> Once the party is over and, they, and we go through an economic decline in this society, that's the end or be all the so-called white man. And with that, we're going to close out. And I want to say uh, all praises and glory to your yeah. Allah. Bashim Yashem, our God, other one. Wow. And we out.